The story is a biomedical, post-apocalyptic, choice-based, interactive media experience based around the character Jamie Reed and his journey of guilt over the vaccine that was turned into a virus that has killed millions of people. Jamie's mission throughout the whole of this uh, interactive experience is to, one, to find a cure for this disease and also to find out who exactly it was that tampered with the vaccine that he wanted to try to make to help immunodeficiencies. This experience is for anyone who is a huge fan of post-apocalyptic, biomedical, science-based media pieces of work. So essentially it's mainly for people typically around the age of 16 to 45. That can span a little bit more, obviously. It's for anyone who wants to play around with their morality in a different setting and see what they would do in that situation. The fact that you get to choose the outcomes. You get to choose whether people live or people die. It's a very small scale choice based one, so it's not like your average telltale game. But then again, it makes it feel a lot more personal. The audience will find the game through a set of QR codes. These will be displayed in test tubes, which will be uh, throughout Bristol. Another way they'll be able to find the game is through a Facebook social media uh, aspect. They'll find the game through various teasers, which will be posted on there as well as various bits of content that they can interact with. Once they've completed the game, we hope that they will share it on their social media sites, and then from there, their friends would find the game, click on the game, and play it, share it on social media. So it's very much a branch effect, starting from the test tubes, to playing the game, to social media, and it branching out from there.